Hey, what's up guys? This is Hardy with Ninja Everyday and we're hiking on the Hanopu Ridge Trail and I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right in uh, Kauai, Hawaii and uh, it's raining, it's a steep hike, it's jungle conditions we're gonna see. So my wife and I came to Kauai again to, uh, this is our second time we had our honeymoon here. But our goal was to hike the Kalawalua Trail that goes to the Nepali coast. But of course, after we booked our trip, it was washed out by a hurricane and we can't do that. So we're making do by finding some other hikes, some other trails to do while we're here. What we understand about this trail is that it's kept up by volunteers. Uh, not an official state trail anymore, but it's a five mile out and back hike. It's been pretty cool so far. So we read on one of the reviews of this trail to be sure to wear pants because it's tight and it's not very wide and it's scratchy. And of course, coming to Hawaii, I didn't think I was gonna need pants. So I just brought shorts. So I wore my longest pair of shorts, but it's uh, not quite long enough. The trail is scratchy, heed that warning. So the Hanopu Ridge Trail is about two miles each way, totaling about five miles total distance. Make sure you wear long pants and be sure to try to go on a day that's not too wet. Also, you wanna go on a clear day because the view is the big payoff and you can't see it when it's foggy. Don't film while you're hiking, PSA. So because of uh, low to no visibility, at about a mile and a quarter into this, we're turning around. The rain has been coming down pretty heavy, sporadically. The trail has gotten super slick. I've probably fallen seven or eight times. So it's been an unintentional glissade down to where we stopped. But, uh, it's been an adventure, either way. What do you think, babe? It was fun. We should come back when it's sunny. So we didn't finish this trail, but it gave us a really good idea of what hiking in Kauai was going to be like for the rest of the trail, and we had a great time. So this is me explaining we're on the Ho Ope Falls Trail. And this was a short, fairly easy hike. This is me showing how slick the ground is. So again, we fell a couple of times on this one. There's two waterfalls to see. Uh, make sure you bring mosquito repellent on this one. And again, it's slippery if it's been raining. This is the second falls and the most impressive of the two. Be sure you look for the trail off to the left that takes you down so that you can be at the base. This is me explaining we're the, at the Awa Awapahui Trail. This is a 3.1 mile hike that's one way. It descends over 1,200 feet to an amazing view of the Nepali coast. That's the big payoff. 
Be sure again to do this one on a clear day to take full advantage of the view and bring a snack or a lunch with you so you have a good reason to hang out at the bottom. If you feel brave, you can walk out over the spine to a knob at the other side, but it's kind of hair raising and be careful if you decide to do that. And again, once you reach the overlook, you're going to want to hang out there for a little while. So I'd advise bringing a snack or some lunch so that you have a reason to sit and just take in that view. There's nothing like it I've ever seen in the world. And there are many adventures to be had in Kauai. We had an amazing time hiking on the trails. We also did a kayak excursion out to the Nepali coast, did some surfing, trained uh, jujitsu at a great local gym, and just had an amazing time. Can't wait to go back. Thank you.